Welcome back. I am Traveling Taylor, currently hanging out here in the Scottish Highlands with some beautiful Highland cows and this beautiful, gorgeous Scottish weather. I'm currently on a three-day, two-night tour of Speyside region of the Highlands with Robbie's Tours, touring distilleries, hanging out with some cows, touring the countryside, doing what you do here in Scotland. Um, we've had a great time so far and I'm going to take you around and show you all the fun stuff that we got into during our three-day tour. Our first stop was Lindor's Abbey, and it's a newer distillery in the area. However, the location has a very unique history as it's the site of the original abbey used to distill spirits, making it the first recorded location in history to do so. It's family run, and you might have seen their cats Vesper and Friar John Claw on the Netflix documentary Inside the Mind of a Cat. And overall, I found their story of how they began to be very interesting, the distillery to be very welcoming, but I did not particularly like the whiskey at this location. Our second visit was to Royal Loch Nagar, and it received that royal title in 1848 after a visit from Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, and it is actually located just down the street from Balmoral Castle. We had a really nice tour of the grounds, a very entertaining guide, and they also give away driver to go containers so that DDs can enjoy the whiskey when they get home. To kick off the start of a day two, we visited Glen Murray, and this was my favorite tasting of all the distilleries that we visited and also the least expensive. We only did a tasting here and not a tour, but it was a very nice location and they had tasty croissants available in the morning. They were fully booked for the entire day, as were all of our stops on this tour, so if you plan to do a Scotland whiskey tour on your own, be sure to schedule all of your bookings very far in advance. We took a little break from tasting whiskey and took a tour through a cooperage, and this is my favorite thing that we did the entire tour. It was a more personal aspect to learning about the whiskey making process and how they renew barrels. In fact, most whiskey barrels are not new. They are bourbon barrels shipped from the United States and then renewed into whiskey barrels and usually used multiple times until they are retired. And as for the Coopers, they must undertake a four year apprenticeship before becoming professional Coopers. It is a highly specialized job and they take great pride in it. I never would have thought about stopping at a cooperage if I had organized this tour on my own. I honestly didn't even know that they existed, but I am very happy that we did. And you can absolutely organize a tour all on your own. Although I will say we all thoroughly enjoyed our Rabbies tour and had fun with our guide, Martin. They organized the tours, our accommodations, which was a super cute B&B and made the whole experience just really stress-free. After lunch, we visited the first female-run distillery, Cardew, and it has a long and very interesting history which was told to us through a very well done animated presentation upon our arrival and before our tour. They are owned by Johnny Walker and 70% of their production goes into the Walker blends while the other 30% goes into their own whiskey. This distillery also has some Highland cows hanging out nearby which we fed some cookies and spent some time visiting with after our tour. Our last and final stop on the tour was Dalwini, which means the meeting place. We also only did a tasting here instead of a tour, but this tasting came with chocolates. A local chocolatier makes special flavors that pair very nicely with the whiskeys, and they were all so delicious. Along with Glen Murray, this was my other favorite whiskey tasting that we did, and our host was extremely knowledgeable, and even though this was our fifth distillery on this tour, I still learned some new things about whiskey. We've made it back from Edinburgh from our Scotch whiskey tour. And I have to say, I really did enjoy our tour with Ravi's. We mostly booked it because everything else was full. So if you're going to come to Scotland in August, be sure to book your tours very early. Um, but we did actually really enjoy doing just this smaller, more niche tour. The group was smaller. There was only about seven of us. So it was easy to kind of like move around and you know change your plans if we wanted to. But overall, if you come to Scotland, just try to get up into the Highlands. You can't go wrong with any tour. Just get out of the cities a little bit, explore the countryside, and you're not going to be disappointed.